better believe it, buddy. All right, Tall Flater crew, here we are again out at the private rifle range. We got something we want to try today. Uh, we were kind of wondering what would happen if you take one of these uh, balloons with some bird shot in it and accelerate it to 999 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Good even number, you know? Yeah, why not? It, it's kind of a play on that 99 red balloons. This is 999 mile an hour lead balloon. Lead balloon. <laughs> Let's see what it does. Unlike a lead zeppelin, this one should fly, but <laughs> we'll see what she does under the slow mo. Okay, I'm ready when you are. All righty, here we go. Okay, let's look at the high speed footage and see what happened there. This is using a rifled barrel. Uh, right out of the barrel, the uh, balloon had burst. It's really hard to see that small shot, even with the, in high speed, but uh, a few of the pellets hit that pressurized bottle and just put holes in it instead of bursting it. Without spin stabilization, let's see if it does anything different. Okay, I am ready. Here we go. All right, we have a smaller target this time, but far more pellets actually impacted the can. Now it's really surprising, even though those balloons are really tough and stretchy, they still burst when we accelerate them to these kinds of velocities, right out, right out of the barrel. has left the building. <laughs> All right, we got a lot going on in this shot, but you can see how concentrated that shot is, and it busted poor SpongeBob like a, uh, I don't know, a clay pigeon. And I've got to admit, I didn't expect that sort of damage. There's nothing really recognizable left of SpongeBob. So far, the balloon mod has kind of been acting like a, a way to control the spread of the shot, kind of like the flight control wad. Now keep your eye on that balloon as it pops again. It catches the air just the right way that it inflates and pops. Um, that just gives you an idea how fast these objects are accelerating through the air to cause something weird like that to happen. I always love coming home and seeing all these weird little surprises that we never would have noticed in real time. Okay, we got my grandma's peachy cruiser out here. <laughs> Wow. All right, what happened? Yeah. Grandma's PT kind of did a, I don't know, maybe too much amps through the speakers. <laughs> Thumping so, stereo. Anyway, we thumped it pretty hard right in here. Pretty concentrated. Pretty good pattern. Yeah, look at that. Very Bull tight pattern. Bulletproof windshield. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it went out there about uh, 15 feet and landed on its wheels. Yeah. <laughs> like a Volkswagen. Now, once again, we have a real concentrated pattern of shot. Most of them actually impacted the PT Cruiser. Now, even though the body of that car is kind of a hard styrene plastic, it's still surprisingly flexible. Now, most of these targets came from my wife's world famous garage sales, that stuff that did not sell, stuff that was, it just didn't work or anything. So, hey, we'll make a target out of it. It's always fun to see goofy stuff like this getting uh, blown up, you know. All the kids like ballistic jelly. Okay, I'm ready. All righty. I had really no idea what the encapsulated lead shot inside of a latex balloon would do. And really what I was expecting was the, the balloon to 
not pop at all and it would just fly along and do some really strange things as it flew through the air. So I'm surprisingly wrong so many times that I've lost count. Now I've done this long enough that I know how my viewers think and you wanted to see a comparison between normal birdshot and these modified balloons so here you go now one thing to consider is the balloons only have less than an ounce of shot and a normal shell holds about one and an eighth ounce so keep that in mind but we've also seen with the balloon shots that um, things have not always gone exactly the same from one shot to the other but I think it's safe to say that the birdshot shell in this case definitely won out now about the only field modification we could do was to tuck the balloon into itself, kind of doubling up the, the thickness of the rubber. So let's see what effect that will have. Okay, let's see if Superman can handle uh, a kryptonite shot. Okay, I'm ready. Woo, boy. And finally, we have one solid projectile, and this really was what I was hoping all of them would do. It's really interesting to see how that latex flaps around in the wind like that at such high speeds. Now, we probably would have done this to more of them had we known what was actually going on. Sometimes we can't really tell what we have filmed until we get home and review the footage. Now, despite the massive impact that Superman took, he did a pretty good job of holding up his composure and playing it off. They're 12 yards at a, an old paint can. Yeah, right in the refrigerator. Pretty concentrated, uh, amount of not too bad right there is point of aim right in the old ice box I don't know if these are the answer to any any question that was ever asked but uh <laughs> we had to try it I don't think it'll replace the wax slug no <laughs> oh well maybe uh, somewhere in between yeah now again we had a nice tight pattern or hundreds of holes in that can. Some of them went straight through the can, which is kind of surprising, especially with birdshot. I don't know if we've reinvented anything, if we've made anything better or not, but it was still an interesting experiment, and I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank our patrons for supporting this channel and helping to keep us going. Um, some of these guys are their brand new patrons. Some of them are older patrons that have actually upped their pledges, and that really humbles me because all we've really ask for is one dollar a month which is what 3.3 cents a day and it all adds up and helps us make better content thank you